Hey there, it's Jody Katz, your host of the Where Brains Meet Beauty podcast. Thanks for joining me today. I want to introduce you to our next episode. It features Marissa Arandondo. She's the CEO and founder of Face Bioactive. She talks very openly about her battle with cystic acne, which was really fascinating because during our podcast, which was face to face, I'm staring at her skin the whole entire time because it really does look incredible. So if you're someone who suffered from acne um, for a long time, or maybe you have a teen who suffers from acne, this is a great episode for you to listen to because she talks quite a bit about how to resolve it without um, using drugs. Um, So what I wanted to tell you about is that um, she did not start her career in the beauty industry. She in fact started it in banking, analyzing biotech, cosmetic, and dermatology companies. So what she you know, chose to do, which I think is really interesting, is find a way into the business where she could learn as much as possible and absorb as much as possible about the industry to help herself learn and educate herself about how to solve her own problems. Um, She talks in detail about what it's like to sell on QVC, the pressures and preparation it takes, and um, many facts on the pH of skin and what you need to achieve healthy skin. So um, what I thought was also really interesting is that we talk a lot about um, the reluctance to be the face of her own brand. And this is something I hear from founders all the time in, um, in my business running a creative agency is that founders start a brand because they have a mission and a vision, but they don't necessarily want to be the spokesperson of the brand. But what happens, especially in today's climate, is that customers are really fascinated by the founder. They're really motivated to learn more about the founder. So um, no matter what, the founder really needs to take the spokesperson role and really needs to be active and out there. Um, So she talks at length about what it takes to overcome, you know, how overwhelming it is to actually be the face of your brand. So this is an important episode if you are starting a brand or if you're really interested in what it takes to run a brand and be the spokesperson of your own brand. And of course, if you want to sell on TV, at QVC or HSN, this is a must, must listen to episode. So I hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time.